Hmm. Hmm. Let's buy him. Because we might go Glacier Knights. And let's put on a random Hell Knight. <laughs> Worth. Oh my god. We're going Mages. Yeah, I prefer Skybreaker as well. Mystery. I need to get my sub badges sorted out. The star is just so underwhelming. But although, have you noticed it seems a lot less laggy now that I've sorted out my up... Uh, like, my, my... This seems a lot less laggy, so that's good. Uh, another Skybreaker. And I guess I'll pick up Tusk Champion. Because they're adaptable. I like to just get the most adaptable stuff. Um, in general, I like to just have the most adaptable stuff. <laughs> so I've got a pair of Skybreaker. Having a pair of Skybreakers is really good. Oh, I forgot to put something on the field. Oh, well, Skybreaker can win this by himself. I was uh, too busy sorting something out. Skybreaker can win this game, this one by himself, so it's fine. <laughs> uh, basically, I, I sorted my upload speed out, Iraqi. Uh, I'm going to buy him. Um, so I sorted my upload speed. I also switched over to OBS, which is streaming on my graphics card and not on my CPU. And um, uh, Bluestacks is quite CPU intensive. So that's why I switched over to normal OBS. I will f fix my Streamlabs OBS settings because Streamlabs OBS has got a lot more integration and stuff. Picking up Desperate Doctor because he's just a good early unit. In fact, God, I I could just pick up the Glacier package and go Glacier Knights, couldn't I? I should have thought about that. Well, we got two items. It's better than getting none. I have to pair. I have to pair the stuff, of course. Do you know what? I'm just going to do it like I just want this. I think that's. I think this is a better versus a three, like a three unit team. And in fact, I'm going to give this to him. Good morning, um, Sirithio. I think that's how you say it. Sirithio, Sirithio, maybe. Good morning. Oh. So he's got a level two to be Witcher, which is annoying. But I should get a nice desperate doctor. No. <laughs> No, Taboo Witcher. Big Scoundrel is a big cutie. Oh, thank you, Skybeam. That's so sweet. We've got so many pairs on our bench. We can pair things. So many pairs. And nothing. And nothing here. Uh, I'm just going to buy a full bench. I'm going to buy a full bench, and I'm going to sit here with these three and take the big L on the next round. Oh, wait, no, wait, wait, I need to take a big L. Wait, 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 what do I want to put on? Two Desperate Doctors. We want two of them so we can get two ults off. These guys don't know what's going to hit them. Hello, uh, Joint. I guess it's Joint, isn't it? Look at that. I killed one of them. What a monster. Oh, yes, we killed two of them. Desperate Doctor OP. Please give me some level twos so that I can not lose streak this game. I would love to not lose streak this game. Okay. In the bin, and then I'm going to buy her. Because obviously, he's going in the bin as well. What are we going to field? I guess another one. No, she's probably just better to field two of those. The burst damage is better. Well, I can finally watch me live. You're always watching my YouTube videos. Thanks, Dario. I, um... I'm very glad when people come to tune in to me from YouTube. It's really nice. And I, this is the first time I'm streaming for quite a while, so... Come on, Desperate Doctor. Get them. Get them, Desperate Doctor. Okay, I don't know if it's going to be good enough. We'll see. It's not good enough. 
That's not good enough. We didn't even kill Hell Knight, but we killed a Gessis Ranger. Yes, this is a stream forecourt, and the stream is running smooth because we, we fixed it. Because I figured out what was wrong. It took me a while. I haven't streamed in ages. I still want to get my upload speed sorted, though. I have no idea what's going on. Okay. Um... Is it worth? It's not even worth leveling up, is it? <laughs> Heaven Bomber is so good when it hits. Yeah. Well, I've got a pair of Heaven Bombers and I've got a pair of Skybreakers. I have a pair of Red Axes and a pair of Light Blades. It might actually be worth me early rolling because I've got so many pairs. Um, but we'll see. Like I, I'm, I am killing a few units every time. Oh my god, he's got two two star Agursus. If this guy gets like a level. Three Agursus Ranger on round eight. That's going to be so, so patrol. Well, we didn't kill anything. This guy's Riddler. How many? He's not got any more Agursus Rangers. Okay. Economies look like everybody's got zero. I might roll. I might roll. Hi, four gear. How's it, how's it going? Red Axe. Thank you. Des Heaven Bomber. Thank you. Um, guys, do we do the rollies? Should we do the rolls? I got 10 gold. I can do it later. I don't need to do it right now. We're loose streaking. We're loose streaking with three two stars, which is a little bit dangerous. But we're still doing it. Okay, taunt him so we can't hex anybody. Yes. Look at him. Unable to hex, and now he's getting stunned. Still don't think we're going to beat this round, but uh, as long as we kill off one or two, that's the main thing. Fire? We didn't kill off anybody. Yes! 69! The ultimate amount of HP. Hmm. Hmm. Let's buy him, because we might go Glacier Knights. And let's put on a random Hell Knight. Worth. Oh my god. We're going mages. <laughs> Maybe going mages. There we go. Had no idea what doing went to YouTube. Oh, thank you, dude. Thank you so much for the uh, the love. That's really sweet of you. Okay, we, we, are, we are no longer lose streaking now. We, we're win streaking. We've moved from lost streak to win streak. In fact, should we just sell all our stuff? Yeah, sell, 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 sell. We are mages and we're win streaking now. This is a mage stream. Damn it. Well. Uh, I guess just do it like this. I kind of want him to cast his ultimate quickly. He can he can tank early. He can tank early game. That's fine. That's fine. Just put him in a line. Rupert is my new favorite YouTuber. Nice. Rupert is an absolute beast. Ah, oh, look at the desperate doctor MVP on the neutral round. It's all right, guys. We've got twenty gold. We can very easily transition into mages here. So easily. We just need to find werewolves and stuff. Just need to find some werewolves, some pirate captains. Source. Damn it, they're just giving me all the knights now. I got punished. I got punished pretty hard. That's fine. What do we do about this? Are we going to go to level 7 at 13, or are we going to just go to 6? It's fine. This is perfectly fine. I have no idea what anyone's worried. No need to be worried. Five, six, 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 six. Who's this guy, Riddler? With the two level two Agursus Rangers. At least level two Agursus Ranger got beat. We've got a lot of really nice level twos as well. Yes, get him, Desperate Doctor. Get him, Desperate Doctor. Ah, oh, well, he transformed. Never mind, rip. 
please. That's a really bad ultimate. But that's not a bad ultimate. That's all that. That's okay. Ah, the Desperate Doctor ultimate's still going. We win this. We win this because we've got an insane composition. Nice. We got him. Heaven Baba. That's, that's what I do every time in my head. Easy. I know exactly. Easy. Well, we're just going to keep going like this until next round when we're maybe going to six. What else are people going? Mage? No, he's going mages and he's got... Uh, he's going bad mages, though. So he's not got any of the good mages. He's going knight, he's going knight, he's going knight, he's going knight. This is a bad game for mages. What is it a good game for? That's the real question. Goblin mech? <laughs> it's a little bit late to go goblin mech. Where are the Vainglory videos, my dude? Um, they are... Somewhere in my attic. I'm not really sure where, though. Silence them. Nice. Get them. Get them, dudes. I think we're going to win this one anyway. He's, he is going bad mages, though. The only good mages... I think I'm going to have to go... Like, I'm going to have to go flaming wizard mages maybe to beat the knights. Come on. Nice. Get them. Oh. Well, we only lost by one, so it's fine. There we go. Rank up, bring on the sauce. <laughs> Let's bring on the sauce, guys. Uh... Vainglory is not a get dead game for Corp. It just, uh, I wasn't really growing my YouTube anymore. So I had, I, I had been on 33,000 subs for about a year. And so I just wanted to find a new game. Like sometimes when you've just done something to death, <coughs> And made so much content about something. Yes, go with Dark and bring my Dark Spirit. Yeah, if I get Dark Spirit, that'll give me a good chance versus all these knights. Sometimes when you just done them to death, you just want to move on. And you know, I, I wanted to just I've always liked auto chess. I love the I love the mod. And I've been really, really enjoying playing mobile auto chess. So I was like, screw it, let's just make mobile auto auto chess content. What's everyone's economies looking like? Hey, everyone's got pretty good economies. I'm not even that special with my economy. Dragon Knight, Fallen Witcher. Hmm. We're not, we're not giving in to temptation, guys. We're not giving in to temptation. We are a mage player. Hunter, hunters would be fine, I think, as well. But it's a little bit late to go hunters. That's the only problem. And look at all these Agursus Rangers, like two star Agursus Rangers. Everyone. What other games do I play? I play. Oh, you mean um. Uh, do you mean like uh, mobile gaming or do you mean like um, games in general? Because I play League of Legends. Um, I play AFK Arena, which is actually hilariously fun. Um, I also play uh, like a lot of single player stuff. I play a lot of single player stuff at the moment. I've also picked up a new game on mobile called Star Trader Frontier which or star star something frontier it's actually really really good uh, it's a single player game i would thoroughly recommend it i think it's a paid app but it's called like star traders frontier and ah oh, it's, it's it's actually really good i really like it thanks for court you're so sweet to me um so the wolf pack do you guys think like rate out of 10 if you think that we're going to beat the wolf pack just rate this out of 10 if you think we're going to beat the wolf pack It is mobile. Yes, it is mobile. <laughs> Give me an out of 10 if you think we're going to beat the wolf pack. 8 out of 10. Oh, that's a, that's a that's a positive a positive score there. I will take that. Let's go. 6 an F out of 10, 100 out of 10, you believe in me. It's looking pretty good. I'm not going to lie. It's looking it's looking good. Desperate Doctor is actually hard MVP in these kind of situations. You have a red axe and mechs. That's very true. Give me a... There we go. Getting a bit of damage off. The silence only lands on one. This is going to be close, boys. This is going to... I don't know. If, I don't know if we're going to do it. No, I don't think we're going to beat this one. Come on, Source. With your 85 damage. Do it. Do it. <laughs> Oh, okay, now I'm dead. 
Hey, Harshil, you saw a couple of my YouTube vids. Thank you. Can I explain about forcing comps? Yes, so um, I'm gonna go to level seven next round, by the way, guys, if anyone's wo wondering. Um, I'm gonna roll here, Berserk, Werewolf, I want him. And no. So forcing comps is basically, it, I follow this pattern. I, early game, I have, a, I have a tier list of early game comps that I want to go whenever, whenever I'm forcing anything. Goblin mech, warriors with usually something like cave climb bonus, uh, or just two knights. Um, I then use that early game to try and build myself a win streak. So usually when I goblin mech, I usually try and build a win streak. Um, and then I just pick up core units for my build. So I'm looking for Totola Elder, the Source, and Thunder Spirit when I'm trying to force mages. Um, sometimes I'll pick up Flaming Wizard. And I, I utilize that until about level seven, and then I start switching out units for my core comp, and that's how you force a comp in general. Hunters, you can do it very differently. Hunters are pretty good in the early game, so you can actually just pick up three hunters, shove them in whatever your composition is, and that works out fine. Brilliant. Um, we go to level seven, I think. Yes. So, what do we get rid of? Do we get rid of Desperate Doctor here? No, I th think think we get rid of Skybreaker. That'll do. And Werewolf. God, who am I giving those to? Isn't Goblin Mech a good late game comp? Yeah, Goblin Mech is a great late game comp. It's just, and if you talk to Mystery, he'll tell you that he likes to force it all the time. But it's just one of those comps that is, I think, difficult to force. Um, because you rely on getting a legendary pick, which can sometimes go very badly wrong. What am I giving these to? That's the real question. Pirate Captain. Goodbye. I want his ult real quick, right? Do sweet. Do I need to frontline Storm Shaman? Probably. Uh, I should have given that to Storm Shaman. Forgot that he didn't have any items. Never mind. I'll sell him eventually and give that to Storm Shaman. Uh, yeah, so I think Goblin makes a really good comp, obviously. Um, but it's just a comp that requires um, a lot to force. You, re you rely on a legendary pick, which is what makes it quite difficult. Um, I don't have any mages. I mean, I've just got the random source in here. At level. Oh, he's got a three-star Gersus Ranger as well. Yikes. That's okay. I'm not in a desperate position. I'm still, like, third. I'm going to take... Okay, I'm, like, fifth now. Um, what am I looking for? I'm looking for... Wow. Okay. I'm looking for that. I'm not looking for that. I'll take that. And I'm going to take that. Uh, okay, so I'm actually going to go into my mage comp now. I feel comfortable enough that I can go into my mage comp now. And I'm going to give this to him. So I feel comfortable enough that I can go into my mage comp. got some pairs that's a nice silence is this going to be good don't don't get your shields i mean see knights are just really good versus mages and there are so many knights players here that's one of the problems come on okay he just got hexed so mages were not particularly good in this game uh simply because i'm going i'm not going to roll this round because i want to force what am I even gonna? What am I even bringing on when I force um, eight? I want to get Dark Spirit. Like I just need to get Dark Spirit to to win this. Knight Knight is not too good. Knight Glacier is really good, but it has its weaknesses. Like Goblin Mech can beat it. Um, sometimes like Beast Warrior can stop you ever getting there. Full Warrior comps aren't too bad either because of the because of the armor. Um, 
it's just that there is so many. I mean, I, there are so many knight players in this game. Like, look, look at these knights. There's, there's two. There's one full six knight. There's two four knights, and there's one one knight, and they're all really high up. The problem is that mages in this game are just not going to do very well. That's that's the major issue. Um, they'll be fine if I can get a big enough front line and get dark spirit, but that's a big if, right? Have it. Have it. Also have it. I just think it's probably a little bit too late to pivot now. So let's just go to... I'm going to roll down to about 20. Just bring another Storm Shaman. I'm just going to bring another Storm Shaman on. I don't really know what else to do here. Uh, do you have any tips on how to pivot out your early game comp to your late game comp? Yeah, it's just it's just about picking up the core units. Um, just about picking up the core units in your um, in your early game comp. So sorry, pick up pick it. So you get an early game comp. Pick pick like warriors, goblin mechs. Um, sometimes even knights work okay, but they're all like solid early game comps. Then as you go along throughout the rounds, you need to pick up the core units. So for me, when I'm playing mages, I pick up Tortola Elder, I pick up the Source, and I pick up Thunder Spirit. Uh, and then I also like to go for... That's really, really good right now. Sorry, guys, I just need to... You're in the bin. Uh, I'm going to pick up him. I'm not going to pick up her. Uh, no. We, no. Him level 2, him level 2, him level 2, and having Blight Sorcerer on is insane. Um, so then I pick up my core units, which are Thunder Spirit, Source, and, and Totola Elder. For things like mages, it can be like Agar Agali Knight, Dragon Knight, uh, Berserker. Uh, so for uh, yeah, so you want to pick up your core units as you go along. Then when you get to like level seven or eight, or you just find that you're starting to lose, or you've got some two stars that are important to you, then move your comp over to. One second. Dogs. Casper, be nice, please. Sorry, guys. Casper! Casper! Casper, stop barking, please, mate. Oh, what have I got? Werewolf. Uh, werewolf's already level two. Um, so, yeah, so you just pick up the core units for your composition. Um, and then you, like, transition at level seven to eight. Um... Yeah, so it's just like, like I transition transition to mages at level 7 because I can get three mages on and if I've got like my werewolf, my uh, pirate captain and my um, my doom, I can like set up a pretty good composition. Um, so it's just it's just about like finding the right time. Um, with my good front line now and the fact that I've got uh, two silences on the board, I might actually have a better shot versus some of these, these, uh, these knight players. As you can see, like I'm starting to do a little bit better. <clears throat> Also, having Blight Sorcerer really helps. Don't know if I'm going to beat this guy. Yeah, we didn't do enough damage. Still, we didn't lose by much, which is fine. Yeah, my Pirate Captain got silenced, unfortunately. I don't want a Storm Shaman. I don't want to roll either. I've got 33 HP. I would rather get back up to 50. So that if I need to roll and I'm I'm having and I'm struggling, then I just I just need to like spam roll. I will maybe get to level nine and try and find a dark spirit. If I can find a dark spirit and level two these, I've got a much better chance of doing well in this game. The problem is that Tortola Elder needs to be level two and Thunder Spirit needs to be level two ideally, and Pirate Captain being level two definitely wouldn't hurt. <clears throat> How many dogs I've got? I've got two dogs. I've got Freddy and I've got Casper. Cast your ult. That is not the best ult you've ever cast, Pirate Captain. I'm not going to lie to you. Thank you very much. But we should be okay. Like, in general, mages do really well versus hunters. In general. So we should be okay here. Although, saying that, his level 3 Agursus Ranger is going to absolutely slam me. Yikes. That's okay, though. That's okay. Hunters is a... I think Hunters and Mages are two of the best e and easiest comps to force. The problem with forcing something like Knights is that you need so many Knights and so many different units to make work. When you force a comp, 
Ideally, you need to force something that has got a base. So I force mages because it's got three units that I need to force, and then whatever goes in front of those mages is quite adaptable. Um, same with hunters. You can go three hunters and force that, and then whatever goes in front of your hunters is adaptable. Um, ooh, I need to move these guys up. Um, didn't move off in time. So whatever goes in front of your hunters is adaptable. Um, if you're forcing something like Glacier Knights, you require eight units that you have to force to get it to work, which is one of the major issues. Um, so I like to force compositions that don't require um, like a lot of units to make work, which is why my mage comps, it's Tortola Elder, it's Thunder Spirit, and it's Source. Obviously, there are ideal compositions, um, but I like to force comps that don't require like specific things. Um, let's roll and see if we can find some stuff. There we go. Thunder Spirit, there we go. That's good, I'm happy with that because now I've got a level two pirate captain. Uh, the reason I give my damaging stuff to Thunder Spirit is because he's got a 1.1 attack speed, and if you look at all of the attack speeds, it, he has the quickest attack speed in, in, in my comp, so I might as well give him the, and he's got quite a quick ultimate to cast, so I might as well give him the damaging stuff. Do I prefer Totolo over Flaming Wizard? Yes, in, in late game, yes. In early game, I prefer Flaming Wizard. That's a really big silence, and that's a really big captain art. I just make sure he kept my Totolo ultimate in the right way. Yeah, that's good. Warpwood Sage on the mobile version is bad compared to the Warpwood Sage equivalent on the Dota mod, because it has a, like, 500 less HP. Warpwood Sage just isn't that tanky uh, at level 3. It's, it's really weird. Like, he should be tankier. He's just not that tanky at level 3. Yeah, Totola gives you the late game AoE, which is obviously really important. That is so good. Now I just need to find Totola Elders. Okay, well, that's good. We just we won't roll anymore. I don't think I'm going to lose 29 HP in a round. If I lose a round, pretty big, like in a big way. Like, look at all these night players. Like night, night, night. Ah, ah. Luckily, it's not full glacier night. But look at all these night players. So this is Salt with a level 3 defector. Luckily he got silenced. That's a nice pirate captain ultimate. It's really good. I think I, I think I did get my... Um, that's a great silence. Come on, Totola Elder. Carry me through. So actually, by, by having the front line that I've got, because they take quite a while to get through, actually gives me a much, much better matchup versus Knights um, than I would have done going another front line. I beat that Knight player, but he's the worst Knight player out of the Knight players that we've got, so... Can I give you the recipe for Glacier Knight? It can be run in many different ways, actually. Um, should we go to nine and just... Or can we afford to, w to w wait another round? So Glacier Knight, obviously you need the four Glacier members, which is Berserker, Defector, De Desperate Doctor, and Frost Knight. Now, people run the four Knights, because it's a level eight comp. People run the four Knights in different ways. Argali is a, a must. Hell Knight, I think, is a must. Um, I like Evil Knight, and then people make the decision between Dragon Knight or Lightblade Knight. Or you, could, you don't even need all of those. I sometimes take out Evil Knight because he's kind of bad and then add in one other unit because um, Frost Knight counts as two. So it's technically a level seven comp, but I like it at level eight. Uh, I personally like the Dragon Knight version, but I know that Vince, the rank one player on North America, prefers the Lightblade version because he thinks that you need it for the damage. This is the Hunter player with the level three Agursus who is going to absolutely slam me. Evil Knight for Agursus, yeah. So you could have the you could have Soul Reaper and Evil Knight in. Riddler's out. Salt is Salt is out. So we're top four, and I think we beat some people. So I think I need to just get to nine and maybe roll for um, roll for Dark Spirit to stay in this game. And I need a level two. So I'm, I'm top four. So I should should be like even whatever, right? Um, if if I have a unit at two star that isn't a one cost or I don't have any extra pieces, I don't roll for a three star. Rolling for a three star is bait. I'm actually just going to go to level nine. Spam, click, and now we're going to look for stuff. Tsunami Stalker will be okay. Um, Soul Reaper's not good enough. Tsunami Stalker, okay. All right, then. I don't know how good that's going to be for what I want, but... So we've only got a level one Tortola Elder, which isn't great, but we've got a level two Tsunami Stalker, so there we go. So this is the goblin mech guy. Um, oh no, that's not good. We got okay. We should be fine. We should be fine. 
How long am I going to stream? I'm going to stream until Claytano gets on, um, which is going to be in... When does Claytano get on? Two hours time? Two to three hours time? I'm feeling a bit ill today, so I'm not going to stream for too long. I've been ill over the weekend, so... So Rempem, I think I beat. What do I think about Abyssal Guard in general? Is it viable to keep a two-star of him in the late game? Abyssal Guard is probably one of the best base stat two-cost units in the game. I need uh, Tortolo Elder. I don't want all the... Look, I need him. I'm going to lock that because I need him. Um, and I think if he's giving you either a Marine bonus or he's core to your Warrior bonus, then keep him. Um, but you you do want... like Abyssal Warrior is like... One, or Abyssal Guard is one of those um, units that you do want to try and get to... Um, to three star for sure. So I'm gonna face one. Oh, I'm facing Thunderhide. Uh, yeah, fine, whatever. I think I beat them anyway. Mage comps are like notoriously bad versus Thunderhide, but we've got Tsunami Stock. We've got a lot of CC. We've got Blight Sorcerer, which should be fine. Magic Crystal, Ghost Blade, Dracula Mask. Another another Dracula Mask. Who am I gonna give that to? So I actually want. I think I want his silence as quickly as possible to Tolerelda roll. Okay, whatever. Did I give it to the right guy? Who did I give that to? Okay, I gave it to Tsunami Stalker. That's not the worst in the world. Um, while running mages with Warrior Frontline, what do you prioritize to get to level 3? I don't prioritize anything at level 3, but if I had to prioritize something in this composition, it would be Werewolf. Werewolf is what I would prioritize getting to level 3, because he's... And the Source is also... And Thunder Spirit. So these three here, these three here are the ones I'd try and get to level 3 if I could, but Werewolf is the, in my opinion, the core unit that I'd like to get to level 3 most of the time. That's a really big silence. Oh, I just need another Tortola Elder where he might actually be able to do this. This is going to be really, really close, though. See, look, they, they just don't take any damage with the Night Bonus. It's really bad. But the the lucky thing for me is that because I've got things like Blight Sorcerer and, and Doom at the front line, it's really good. Um, If you want, basically, the, the, the point... Oh, Helicopter... Do I get baited by Helicopter? I don't think I want Helicopter over Tsunami Stalker because it doesn't actually help me versus the Knight guys. I just want Tortola Elder. Okay. So the reason I'd bring in another mage, um, the only reason I'd bring in another mage is that they will benefit from the three mage bonus. So the three mage bonus is um, reduce all enemies' magic resistance by 40%. So they will deal magic damage. They will benefit from that. They will deal more damage. And if it fits the composition, then I'd absolutely do that. Um... This is Rempem. We should beat him. We should beat Rempem. So we should be okay and hope someone gets knocked out and that means we get top three. Uh, although I'm saying that... Oh, no, we're fine. We take, we're fine. So Rempem's going to get knocked out by me, I assume. I, I hope. T10 is going to get knocked out. Yes, we made top two. We made top two and we played Mage in a full night game. Yes, but we did. We actually made some adjustments that were, that were better versus Knights. So we made some. We're not going to beat Van, I don't think. I think I'd be very, very lucky to beat Van. Totola Elder? Totola Elder? Totola Elder? Okay, no. So we made some adjustments to get uh, our comp better versus Knights. So, for instance, having these three as a frontline are better versus Knights than having something else like Druids, for instance. Um. We brought in Tsunami Stalker, which was very lucky to get to level 2. The CC actually buys us more time. Uh, Blight Sorcerer gives us a... Um, straight out the little drum... Uh, oh, the best three... Yeah. <laughs> Blight Sorcerer gives us a good matchup versus Glacier Knights because oh, he's just silenced, so he's just dead, right? But it slows down attack speed, which is really important. But I don't think I beat this guy. This guy's very, very strong. And he's silencing all of my stuff. So this is probably my last hurrah. But honestly... Um, fail doesn't matter we got two like we got second like that that is good i mean there were four night players in this lobby uh four night players so we actually like getting top three as a mage in a four night player lobby was was really good my twitter just posted a tweet saying going live soon oh i've got a stupid bot that does that um i need to fix that i've got this i've got one of those uh, webhook links that that's just a bad I'm gonna delete it and sort it out. I don't know, I don't know which, I don't know which webhook link I've got doing that, but it, it's it's something.
get botted. And yeah, Rook 4. There we go. Easy, easy Rook 4. <laughs> we got 42 points. I love that you get the increased points. I think that puts me on the leaderboard, by the way. It puts me on the leaderboard somewhere for sure. Um, okay, so I, I guess I'll just talk through what we did. Um, so, the way that we played this game, we had goblin mechs and then just some two stars. Like, we just had, like, if you just remember, we had random two stars, like Desperate Doctor um, and stuff to get us through the early game. And then we kind of had um, a pretty rough 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 mid game we we took a we had a rough early game to be honest we took a load of l's but we kind of focused on building our economy uh, and then when we got the the mages that we wanted we subbed them in built the mage comp we built the front line of werewolf we built the, the pirate captain and we built uh we built storm shaman in because storm shaman is a great addition to mage comps because his his ultimate his ability does magic damage over time and uh, magic damage per second and then the adjustments that we made were bringing in Blight Sorcerer, because it's good versus Knights and good versus Glacier, which is kind of what a lot of this comp was. Uh, and obviously having Doom helped us late game silencing key targets. So uh, in a game that was full of Knights, we actually got top three, which is really important. Um, and I'm really happy with that result. And now we are... We're not even on the leaderboard at Rook 4. We're, <laughs> we're 102 at Rook 4. Oh... Uh... If I was Rook 4 on NA, I'd 